I'm never successful at this, but today, I don't know. Hell knows. Who, who knows where I'm going to land? I mean, for God's sakes, but let's see where this goes. Ready? What? What the hell? Can we go or what? Oh my God. I'm in the car with a teenage driver. Roll the intro. Roll the intro. What's up, y'all? So, today is just a quick little uh, ride to talk about a couple things. So, I've, uh, I've noticed as of late, there's a lot of myths and a lot of misconceptions about the Gold Wing. So, people have asked me all types of questions about this bike and I'm like, you know, man, um, let me see if I can try to answer them because just the other day I stopped and I was going to get gas and some guy was wanting to talk to me about my gold wing and um, he's like yeah man I, I'd like to get one but um, I really don't want an airbag and I was like yeah okay I, I get you uh, they don't all come with an airbag no no man no they all come with an airbag I said no man um, that bike right there and I pointed to my bike I said that, that bike doesn't have an airbag he said really he said, I thought they all had airbags on them man I said, no, no, dude, they, they, they don't all have airbags. No, that's not, uh, that's not true. Okay. And he goes, yeah, man, but uh, my problem with those bikes is I, I just don't think I would feel comfortable with the, with the DCT. And I said, uh, man, I, I totally understand where you're coming from. I didn't feel comfortable with it either. He goes, well, then, well, well, then why are you riding a bike that's got it? I said, uh, dude, this, this, this bike doesn't have that. No, no, man, they all have the DCT. I said, no, nah, no, nah, dude, they, they all don't. And he just kind of looked at me like he was shocked, like I was lying to him. So I literally had to come over here and show him the freaking clutch cable and show him that you uh, you can get these without the uh, without the DCT. Um, one of my best friends bought the DCT, and he loves it. I just, I wanted the old school manual transmission. The guy just kind of looked at me like he was shocked. He's like, man, I just, I didn't know that. So on these bikes, I said, yes, you can get one with the DCT. Yes, you can get one with an airbag. I said, you know, I said, but you can get them just like this one. I said, this bike doesn't have the DCT. This bike doesn't have an airbag. It does have a manual clutch. The stripped down Gold Wing is more of a bagger type of a motorcycle. But I was like, man, there's so many people that have so many ideas about this bike that are things that they just heard so uh so i said well let me see if i can dispel some of these myths the other thing is that the little cubby right here you can see the cubby my phone's in there and i see goldwing guys talking about how their phone has overheated or they've ruined the phone in that cubby i can tell you right now i live in texas i live in houston so i'm in the south texas area i know what it's like to deal with heat there's your cubby Here's my phone and their phone piece that is supposed to protect your phone from getting banged around. Now I've got an iPhone and I've got an OtterBox on it, okay? But this cubby, people are saying, man, my phone's overheating. I'm ruining my phone. I can't listen to my Bluetooth. None of that stuff's working for me because this cubby's too hot. They make a little fan for this cubby that um, I'll probably put like a part number or something for it, but they make a fan for that cubby. I've heard all these people saying, dude, you'll ruin a phone, you'll ruin a phone. I rode 550 miles with my phone and that cubby and I never once had my phone get overheated. I have not had that happen to me and I live in South Texas. I live in Houston where it's, my God, the most humidity, it's hot. If I can ride around with my phone in the cubby and not have my phone overheat, and maybe if you're in Arizona out in the dry desert or may, maybe iPhones because I have the OtterBox, I don't know. But people complain about that all the time and i think that that's one of those things that's a myth that you're not going to ruin a phone on these bikes but people go man you can't get a gold wing you'll ruin your phone i said well who told you that oh my buddy's got one he ruined the phone i said well, what kind of phone did he run oh, i'm not sure uh, you know i'm just trying to give you the facts of what i've been doing i've got nearly a thousand miles on this bike i put my phone in here the whole time and listen to bluetooth music and never have my phone overheat no matter what the temperature gauge said 
The other thing is that they talk about these bikes being super slow. People say, oh, it's an old man bike and it's slow. Well, that's a myth. If you look at my previous uh, two, pre two videos ago, I, uh, I, did, I did a video on this bike and I, I popped a wheelie um, without, without putting any effort in sport mode coming out of the first going to second I popped the wheelie wasn't like I was trying but it's just one of those things that happened this bike has got some speed I kept up so I'll tell you right now I ride around with uh, a guy that has a uh, a stage one challenger with an ECU flash from Lloyd's and it is a pretty fast bike okay no problem telling you that, that bike will shit and get okay and I can keep up with him that's a myth this bike is not fast i'll be the first one to tell you uh there are faster baggers out there um 128 road glide bumped up will eat this bike up hellacious uh hellbelly's bike will eat this bike up I, I know that for a fact a worked up harley will eat this bike up a stage one harley will not sorry a stage one 114 i have burnt a stage one 114 and not even tried so this is a fast bike I'm not, I'm not saying this is the fastest production bike or the fastest bagger on the market. I'm not saying that. But I'm telling you the truth is, this is a fast-ass bike. And people go, I, I, just, I want a faster bike. I want a faster bagger, so I'm going to get a Harley. You can get a faster bike. You can get a faster Harley. But be ready to pump at least three grand into it to get what you get out of this stock. I've done nothing to this motor. When I say I've done nothing to this motor, I mean I have done absolutely nothing to this motor, performance-wise, period. Nothing. The myth that these bikes are ugly, yeah, they're not ugly. They, they've changed the front end quite a bit, the looks of them. They don't look like your granddad's gold wings from the 80s and 90s. Um, they're a good looking bike. They're much better looking than they used to be. So if you walk around this gold wing, I think it looks night and day different than your, than your older gold wings did. Of course, the front end's different and all that good stuff. But if you look at it, they made some significant changes to this bike. I think the bags look cooler. I think the, the they did a great job on changing the cockpit out too. But I think the thing they did the the best job of is if you look at that front end, it just looks night and day different than what the gold wings look like previously. I just think it has a good look to it. I love the 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 rows of LED lights. I think they did a great job on this bike. I'm just super impressed with it. Um, when people say it's ugly. Hey, whatever. I think it looks a whole lot better than what they did in the past. Hey, what's up, y'all? Uh, do me a favor. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, hit that little chuk -chuk bell icon so you get notifications when the shit show gets rolling again. Look, my purpose today was to kind of help you dispel some of these myths about the gold wing because there's a lot of people saying a lot of things that just aren't true. Uh, I try to take care of some of those things. To me, beauty is in the eye of the beholder. I think it's a beautiful bike. Some people won't. But the thing about the airbag and the cubby, uh, the thing about it being slow, the thing about it, you have to have a DCT. That's all kind of bullshit, guys. It really, you do a little bit of internet search, a little bit of work, and you'll see that those things aren't true. But people just believe whatever they hear. So I figured I'm no expert, but I'm a guy that owns one. I own the base model Goldwing. Nothing special about it. I didn't get a DCT down that stuff. So I wanted to show you. I own like the base bagger style model. So I hope that helped you out, answered some of your questions, because I get a lot of questions and DMs and stuff, and I think people think I'm being a dick to them. I'm like, no, where the hell did you hear that? So. At least this way you got a video that came from me that told you exactly what's going on with my bike and what you can and can't get on them. So, but hey, I appreciate you guys. My sub numbers are up, which is crazy. I don't know why you guys keep watching, but thank you. I want you guys to have a great day. Let's try not to be assholes to each other and I'll see y'all next time.